Good morning. Welcome to this vlog. Just got to work. Beautiful morning out here. My phone says it's 44, but I think it's warmer than that. I was going to ride the motorcycle today, but Brandon and Chair are like, no, we gotta drive your boat at lunch. We gotta drive your boat. Your boat's so cool. So, I brought the truck and we're driving the boat. Which, uh, this weekend's supposed to be crap weather, so I'm not probably gonna get to ride the bike at all this week. Uh, what's going on? It is Wednesday. And I was trying to think of a good things that must go. And I really couldn't come up with anything. The only thing I can think of is something that uh, Rob's wife has been pointing out. People who curse in public forum. I'll say in public forum because I don't like when people curse on anything. Uh, whether it's a mass email, whether it's whatever. But specifically she was talking about Facebook she had some relatives that are like, F this and F that. Don't do that. Be classy, people. Come on. That's got to go. Don't. Okay. Use some vocabulary. And if you do have to use the F word, write F. Don't write the F word out. Duh. Seriously. Um, Wednesday, not much going on. We'll have to see. Up, uh, guys. It is beautiful outside. 10.45 in the morning. I'm actually headed down the street. I'm going to do lunch and hour, hour and a half late, but still drive boats, because Brandon, Tara, and I are all signed up for the same one. We're going to harassment training. Woo! So I'm kind of excited. Last year, the harassment training was pretty inappropriate. The lady cursed and rubbed her chest. It was pretty funny stuff. Um, I've never been accused of harassment in the workplace. I was actually in a workplace where harassment went down, or at least it was a there was accusations of harassment and I was friends with a lot of people in that group but I never got accused of it which was good uh, I did get accused of saying the S word when something happened at work once and uh, my boss thought he was going to have to reprimand me and was all this other stuff and we actually asked the harassment lady and she's like um, we're all adults unless you were using it in like a vulgar way then uh, we're all adults, don't worry about it. It was good. Anyway, I, on my way to harassment training, and then boat racing, woo! What's up guys, doing some lunchtime boating. Watching Tara throw the boat through the pond at our work, which is really nice. There's a pond at our work where we can race the boat. Hopefully you can hear me because it's windy as crap, but this water is still pretty freaking glassy considering. Okay, so this is quite as fun. You'll see uh, Jaren Brandon and my boat upside down over there. Hopefully the boat's okay. Uh, Brandon, flipped it somehow. I don't know how he flipped it. I haven't flipped it yet. What are we doing? Having What are we doing? Hey, what are we doing? I'm eating. You're eating, and then what are you gonna do? You gonna go play at the park? Mm. Yeah. And I had this salad. Apparently Austin tattled on me yesterday. Told Gabe that I had a low calorie burger. Apparently it was a chicken sandwich, but. <laughs> I didn't know! I know. Um, so I'm, I'm having a grilled chicken salad today, so I'm doing good. I'm doing well. We were just hanging out here at the park. It's a little windy, so all of our food's blowing everywhere. But at least we're outside on this nice, warm spring day, huh? Yeah. All right, now that that's gone, let's go. Come on. Come on, cheese. Go down the slide. Marcella! What are you doing? Hey, you playing? You tired? No. <laughs> How big he's got. Crazy. Big kid. Wow, no more excitement at the dog park. Seriously? Austin, Austin, you want to tell it? Yeah. Austin, ha we have a story. Austin's going to tell it. No. I'll help you just a second. What happened to the dog park? The pool, not the dog. Oh, at the park. Almost a dog park tonight, today, huh? Two dogs. This unknown, no car, no nothing, no uno came up and attacked these two dogs with the uno. And we had to fight it back. And I was so worried about that dog 
that we I we stayed and I made it stay up for another minute and then they noticed someone else grabbed it and kept it in their car and she almost took it yeah. to find Fiona and then we told her um animal control is on the way yeah so she's going to keep it until animal control comes and we think we saw it come right down the street towards the park yeah the lady shows up with two cute little dogs out of nowhere this huge dog comes up and starts attacking them both so I run over. Yeah, he had him. He she picked up the the little Yorkie, which was super teeny, smaller than Apollo. But her other one, she was trying to hold on to it and get the other dog away from it, and it had it pinned down by its neck. So I ran up and and was fighting the dog off, which almost bit me, which is kind of scary. Kind of, I almost bit my hand. Um, Austin was scared. All the kids were scared. Two moms were on. To call the animal control like right away. I was crying and yelling at the dog. Yeah, Austin was yelling at the dog. I was yelling at the dog. The other, the lady was kicking the dog, trying to get it off of her dog. It was, oh, it's kind of scary, because I jumped in the middle and, thinking back, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did. <laughs> um, and as soon as it was done, the dog took off, and Austin's first thought was for that dog. He's like, I know it was mean, but he didn't have an owner, and he didn't want him to get hit by a car. But she was really sad. So we were going to wait for animal control. But we didn't have to because some lady found the dog and brought it to the park to find its owner. And so she is keeping the dog until animal control shows up. I so, one. yeah. Put it away. Sorry, she found another rubber band to put away. Um, quite the adventurous day. I'm ready for a nap now. I'd have to. <laughs> ready for a nap after all that excitement. What up, amigos? Um. Well, Loco, where'd he go? Boy, he ran by like a flash. We are headed to the office. post office to send a package of Hot Wheels. I won't show the address because I don't know if that's the address he gives everybody. To Micah Stubb. We're sending Hot Wheels to him because he's doing his big family Hot Wheels race. These cars actually haven't been raced before, but they're heavy. They're brand new in the package, so they should run pretty well. Um, Can you get in? No. I'll be right over.